Welcome to my lecture online and here's our fifth example of how to solve rate of doing work types of problems. Here we have Jeff who can paint a house in 40 hours and Carl who can paint the, the same house in 36 hours. But what if we had Jim who can paint twice as fast as Jeff and Tom who can paint three times as fast as Carl? How fast can Jim and Tom paint the house together? Hmm. So first what we need to do is find the rates of Jeff and Carl. So the rate for Jeff, so R of Jeff, we'll subscript it with their names, is equal to, well, if Jeff can paint a house in 40 hours, then he can paint 1 40th of the house in every hour. So the rate for Jeff would be 1 over 40. The rate for Carl, well, Carl can paint a house in 36 hours, so his rate will be 1 over 36, in other words, he can paint 1 36th of a house in one hour. Now we have Jim and Tom. Jim can paint twice as fast as Jeff, so he'll have double the rate. In other words, if Jeff's rate is 1 40th, then Jim's rate will be 2 40th, which is twice as much, or 1 20th. And then we have Tom. Tom can paint three times as fast as Carl. So that means Tom will have three times the rate of Carl. So Tom's rate will be 3 over 36, which is 1 over 12. So now we've established the rates for Jim and Tom. And now we can solve the problem because we can say that the rate of Jim, and actually I should have said rate of Jim and rate of Tom. Try to make this look like an R. There we go. So the rate of Jim times the time plus the rate of Tom times the time will be equal to the whole job done. And the rate of Jim was established to be 1 over 20 plus the rate of Tom which is 1 over 12. And that gets the whole job done. Now we have to establish what t is equal to by getting rid of those denominators. The lowest common denominator, I believe, would be 60. So I'm going to multiply the left side and the right side by 60. So 20 goes into 60 three times, so I get 3t plus 12 goes into 60 five times, so plus 5t is equal to 60. Combine like terms, 8t is equal to 60, and 8 goes into 60 seven and a half times, so t is equal to, well, actually, I should write it out. I'm getting a bit lazy here, it's not a good thing. So divide both sides by 8, and we get t is equal to 7.5. In other words, 7.5 hours is all that's needed if both Jim and Tom paint the house together. And that's how it's done.